Primero, eh, como ustedes vieron, yes, esta well, sentencia contra as you know, condenatorio contra Ríos Montt. The conviction of Ríos Montt has awakened ese dolor, um, the eh, suffering ese algo que no, que nunca se va a poder that we carry and de las we're going y to always feel that suffering as victims. Familia, In the case of my eh, own family, Patrocinio, my brother Patrocinio was burnt eh, to death. In the Ishil region, no se sus restos. we never found his eh, remains. Lo hemos buscado, we have eh, looked for them. Eh, está en una finca he may se be llama on San a farm Francisco. that's called the San Francisco eh, Ranch. Y, y en una fosa común. And he's probably just eh, in a, madre, one of the eh, mass graves. As for my mother, eh, sí está en una fosa común. we never found eh, her remains sí either. Uh, we don't know eh, if she was buried in a mass grave or eaten que, by wild si animals. No es ella la que fue comido if it animales, wasn't her remains that eh, were eaten by wild animals eh, after humillada, having been eh, tortured brutally and humiliated, then she's, her remains are probably in a mass grave close to the Ishil region. Because the truth is, my family comes from an area um, very close to Ishil, even eh, though we speak another language, which is Mayan Quiche. My pues father was also burned alive and the um, em, uh, embassy eh, of Spain um, in January 30th, 1980. Es que so this is why I feel the suffering of the victims who are clamoring for justice in the case uh, against Rios Montt, because under Lucas Garcia, right before the coup d'etat led by Rios Montt, they, they burned down the Spanish uh, embassy, which had um, where Rigoberto's father was. So, all of the abuses and um, violations that happened in 1982 and 1983, I, I suffered personally. My father had recently um, been burnt alive. Um, his name was Vicente Michu. So, in 83, my brother Victor was also shot dead. His name was Victor Menchu. He was killed, um, murdered in Pantan, also very close to the Ishil region. He was captured by the army. He had fled with his three children to the rainforest. Um, his wife had been had her throat slit, and he was fleeing with his three children. After a couple of months, they captured him and took him to Uspantan. And Victor was jailed in the little town, but the, his three Three children were um, kept in a military bunker. It was called Shehul, this bunker. So my two nieces died of hunger uh, in this military base, and my brother Victor was shot. Um, we still have not found the remains of Victor. We found a file um, about his cadaver being found with multiple gunshot wounds in, a, in the place where people say he was probably shot. But a judge who uh, ruled on his uh, death um, uh, drew up a death certificate, but it doesn't specify where he was murdered. 
murdered. So we think that my brother Victor is also buried in a mass grave. And these are the people closest to me who were um, murdered during the genocide. My father, my mother, my brother Victor, my brother Patrocinio, and my sister-in-law Maria were, were the closest members of my family affected by the genocide.